Acrylic pour with glitter is the best way to add a little sparkle into your art. Coming up in this video right now. Hello all Wild for Games coming at you from my creative control playlist where I try to bring you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials just like this one here. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. Today we're going to do an acrylic pour with glitter to give an extra sparkle to our art and make it pop. Let's go over all the supplies and colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use a nice bright titanium white, a beautiful pop pink and a very dark, rich blue. My inspiration is cotton candy, so I'm kinda going with some bubblegum colors here. To give a little bit of a sparkle, I'm gonna add some glitter to my pink and blue, but I'm gonna add my blue into my pink, and I'm gonna add my pink into my blue. This way it gives me some fun, kind of popping, contrasting colors. Also gonna need some glue for my mixed medium, and I'm also going to need some silicone to create just a few cells that are going to add some separation that I've already added into my colors. Also a palette knife to create some actions and move color around and some water that I've got in this glass jar. We're also going to need a couple popsicle sticks and some cups for mixing and stirring and not needed but I will be using a blowtorch to enhance and make some cells to make them rise to the top. Our paint is all thoroughly mixed and liquefied, which I will put the formula on the screen right now, but we need to add some glitter. Like I said before, I'm gonna add my blue glitter into my pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snip off the packet and dump the whole packet right in because you need actually a lot of glitter for when it dries to actually show through. You have to remember a lot of the paint is gonna cover a lot of the glitter. So don't be afraid to put a lot in. I'm also gonna repeat the same process with putting my pink glitter into my blue paint. Make sure you guys stir this thoroughly. Now that our paints are all glitified, let's go ahead and prep our canvas. I'm just gonna take some of the white that we all mixed up earlier and I'm gonna snow plow it around. What this does is this covers up all the porous holes in the canvas that the gesso might have missed when it came from the factory. I just like to push it around with a popsicle stick and then I like to work in the rest with my fingertips. You'll be able to feel where it's still rough with your fingertips so feel free to add more paints if you need to and make sure to get those corners and rails. They are the most important. With our canvas ready to go, we're ready to add some color. I'm going to take my bubblegum blue color that I have back here and work in my back corner and start ribbing it in to the center. I'm then gonna take my hot pink and start working it from the opposite corner towards the center as well. When I have my colors exactly where I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my canvas and start spreading out all of my color. This is gonna act as my base coat to pull color forward when I start pulling things forward with silicone and some of the heat and I start spreading around with my palette knife. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing all of this around on my canvas. This painting's all about playing with layers. So I'm gonna add another layer of a white ribbon stripe down the very center, separating my hot pink and my bubblegum blue. And then I'm gonna pick up my canvas and slosh these colors around as well to help spread it out, which is gonna give me a nice foundation to start playing around with my spatula coming up here in a moment. With palette knife in hand, I'm gonna start spreading all of my white color on top of my pink. And this is gonna create some different kind of crackles, ribbon effects, depending on how hard you push and how much of the palette knife you're using and depending if you're cleaning off in certain steps, you're gonna get a variety of different effects. And I'm gonna do this on my pink side and I'm also gonna do it on my blue side, pushing white and pulling it on to that side as well using the blade and the different shapes that it has on it because I do have a spaded uh, blade right here. With all of my colors spread out, I'm gonna pick up my canvas for one last time and start letting those colors flow back and forth and side to side. And I'm gonna try as best as I can to get the blue to go on top of the pink and to get the pink to go on top of the blue. I want kind of a fun transition going from both sides. This way I have a nice hue transition and also I've got a good contrast transition going on as well. And this will create a beautiful eye popping effect with all that hot pink, 
white, and blue and those perfect transitions of colors. Well, our liquid pour is looking awesome and there's only one last thing to do. I wanna introduce a little bit of heat from my blowtorch here and what that's gonna do, it's gonna pop some of those bubbles that may have been trapped underneath the paint and it's also gonna pull that silicone towards the top of the painting which is gonna produce some nice cells and is gonna enhance the ribbons between the pinks and the whites and the whites and the blues. So I recommend doing your whole painting with a little bit of heat and maybe concentrating on certain parts, but make sure to have enough separation between the heat and your painting because you wanna be very careful not to burn it. I hope you all enjoyed that painting tutorial there with glitter. Now it's hard to see the glitter when the paint is still wet. You actually have to wait 24 hours for the glitter to rise and you'll be able to see it. It just adds a little bit of an accent, but it's a pretty cool accent, so I recommend trying it. Once again, my name is Wild for Games, and if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a nice thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also follow this channel. You can also watch me paint all the time on Twitch, and feel free to follow me on all of my social media, which is listed below. You can follow me on Twitter, and you can follow me on Instagram. If you like to see this painting all done and clear coated, you will be able to find it on those two social medias. I will see you guys all in the next painting tutorial next time, and if you give this painting a shot, Feel free to leave a comment below with a link to it or send it to me on my social media. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.